Last month, I said that the markets were euphoric and it was time for caution. No surprise for this month, we went on a small correction. We did better than the major indices. Our portfolio is down 0.5% versus 1.7% for the S&P 500. If you look at our performance so far for 2023, we've had a gain of 23% versus 18% for the S&P 500. My goal is to beat the S&P 500 by a few percentage every year, so that's good news. At the beginning of the month, we've had a correction to let the markets breathe, which is really healthy in a bull market. And in the second part of the month, everything went up again and the hype about AI continued. So that's life. Nobody can predict the stock market and our portfolio is not positioned for this AI hype. But so far, we've outperformed the major indices, so nothing to complain about. In terms of our companies, William Sonoma released earnings, quite good earnings to be honest. The management revised its guidance for this year with less revenue growth, but better profitability. Basically, they sell home equipment, furniture, and with COVID, their margins and profitability improved. And everybody expects their margins to go down in a normalized environment. And Williamson and my management said, no, no, we will keep the high margins. We will keep the high profitability. You have to trust us. And so far, so good. It's our second largest position and nothing to worry about. We've had some good earnings from Chinese companies, Alibaba, Tencent, Beidou, all these tech companies that are going back to growth mode and growing their revenue, which is very good news. China is still struggling to get their recovery back, but the big tech companies are recovering. So nice. Also, Brookfield management released good earnings, but all these earnings are not important because what has driven the stock market this month is Nvidia and their earnings, which were quite incredible. Nvidia reported beast earnings and everybody seems to agree that Nvidia is a beast. It's the largest upward sales revision of any mega cap company ever. So it's a very big company. Now the market cap is above one trillion dollars and they are reporting very good earnings and earnings growth, which means that from a valuation standpoint, now it has insane valuation. But with all these projections about uh, tremendous earnings growth, profitability, the valuation may not be excessive. And I will not bet one cent on Nvidia because of all the hype. And everybody seems to agree that it will grow forever. No, not for me. I will stay uh, in the sidelines and eat my popcorn, uh, watching the stock uh, grow or crash. I mean, it's really entertaining to see all these projections and all the wonderful future that we will have. We will see how it goes in 5 years, in 10 years, if we have a Cisco 2.0 or a great revolution. More people have joined the ship, we went from 13 copiers to 22 copiers this month. The number of people following our eToro account went from 110 to 132. And the number of subscribers on our YouTube channel went from 111 to 159. What is new this month is that now I can see the amount of dollars that is copying my account on eToro. And so far, we have $25,000 in asset under copy. So that's good that's good that's a good development of our eater account and i'm quite happy with the results so far so good and if you want to copy this portfolio you can check out the description below and register on eToro that's all i have to say for this month i wish you a good day bye bye